Welcome everyone to one of the largest photo video stores in all of New York City here at B&H Photo Video. We're going to explore and learn more about this iconic store that has been running here since the 1970s and offers a huge array of tech uh, from live streaming to filmmaking to professional broadcasting, everything. We're gonna get a huge tour through this today for the special Stream Geek Summit. I'm Ariel, I run the show called Urbanist where I explore cities all around the world, including wonderful stores like this. So let's take a look inside. So here we have Simon. Simon, thank you so much for welcoming me here. Hi, to thank you for doing this. You know, we're happy to be part of this. Happy to be here. So let's go inside the store. And what is B and H? What's the general thing about B and H? What B and H is? Uh, B and H is an experience basically it's not just that you come in you buy your camera you know what you want or maybe you ask a few questions you know you have people coming in complete amateurs in any subject whether it's computers which is very hot right now with the working from home people need very specific uh, uh, equipment or it's cameras photo cameras video cameras lighting they would come in and they would know virtually nothing they want to get into the field and then you know we have our salespeople asking them what are you going to use it for how are you going to use it and what environment you're going to use it in and basically building them up and that's why people keep on coming back you know even even now during covid when people try not to right. go out as much but they know they come to be an age for an experience not just to buy something and that's what i really look at, like about you guys so let me show more of the store over here and it's gigantic uh, and yeah. this is only one out of two floors, hey, uh, one out of two floors. And as you go in, I hear the zipping of something right above our heads. Yeah. What is that? This is a B&H trademark. Basically, yeah. we brought in the warehouse experience into a store. If you go to any big warehouse, whether it's Amazon or just any, about any warehouse, they have a whole maze of conveyor belts running and every basket, every package knows where it needs to go. Yeah. B &H, at B&H, uh, since we're trying to make it a, such an experience, unlike other stores, we keep most of our especially expensive displays um, products we keep in the warehouse. And we only have one on display, so we have more room to display. Like you would see on those keyboards, instead of having boxes piled up and one or two keyboards, we display everything and then the rest of the stuff is in the warehouse. So in order to run such an efficient operation we needed to have right. something that would bring up the items as soon as the customer decides what they want bring it up quickly and you know the customer would be on their way without carrying too much so let yeah. me show it let me show passing through right over here oh, that's so funny and that's been around here since uh, i recall the 1990s but yeah. definitely early 2000s all right so where where would you like us to feature first like What's a really cool part of this store that you really so enjoy? So everything in the store is pretty cool and yeah. unique. Show us the, like, but, the interesting uh, rooms that yeah. many people so, miss. Um, so let, let me start with the pro video section because as I understand this is what the right. professionals with the video professionals would need and then we'll move on to different sections. So um, first First, I would start with uh, what a customer once told me. I actually had several customers that B&H is like Disneyland for photographers. <laughs> yeah, they man, come it in, really they is. play with everything, they see everything. It's amazed. If you look at just how many items we have on display That's and crazy. each specific camera has all the different accessories that anyone might use. Yeah. Um, and these are, um, what, what type of level cameras would you consider so these? This is all the professional video cameras we have from the, you know, the cheaper ones that are more for journalists yeah. that are going, you know, in different places. And then we have also up until the red cameras on display. Um, you know, when I came here about like two years ago, I couldn't believe that I could actually touch a red camera here in person. It was such a cool experience. So let me show it. 
This was a personal yeah. achievement for B&H, being able, to, being able to get Red in. Yeah. Like I was told Red is the Rolls Royce of uh, professional of cinema cameras. They are, and, and the cool thing is you have it all and you yeah. can see the entire display and everything. And there's something special about the, like these kiosks. They're not, they're not really meant to give you sales. Like these, these guys are meant no. to show you the camera. B&H store in general is, right. is uh, very much focused not on closing the sale, we could have cost, um, uh, employees spending hours with customers and they would go out with you know, an item that costs $100. Yeah. That's why b and is not paying commission to the salespeople because we really don't want to focus on sales. We want to give, give the customers the whole experience. And when the customer does decide to buy, they know they're buying what's best for them and not what's you know, trying to sell off the most expensive camera. We have it. I could see a red camera in peace. That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, where is it? You know, we, uh, this is a very old story from like 10 years ago, but it's, you might have heard it. There was a teacher that she came in, she needed a, she wanted to set up a whole TV and Blu-ray player in order to show, you know, to give presentations in the class. Yeah. Um, so she came in, she was expecting to spend like $1,000 on an entire setup. She came into the salesperson, the salesperson started you know, qualifying the customer. What do you currently have? What is not working? She ended up walking out with a $70 DVD player that worked perfectly for her. She was amazed that the salesperson oh. actually talked her down from buying an expensive system to just a very simple item that would fit her need. Oh, and this amazing. is what B&H is all about. Oh, that's what I really like about you guys. Well, let's take a closer look at these cameras. You even have Black Magic as well. This is yeah. uh, a lot of live streamers also use Black Magic because of its uh, beautiful picture quality. It's cool. You guys also are very upfront with the prices, uh, which some some other countries are not so forthright <laughs> with what the prices are. Here we have different on camera lighting. Oh, you do, yeah. And again, everything here, you could see a live demonstration on how it will work with your mm. camera. We have customers coming in with their cameras, putting up our accessories, our lenses, our cases, testing it out oh, with the salespeople. Cool. So uh, you can ask any of the uh, reps to, to like try to this actu camera. To actually it demo it, yeah. Mm. And I see a very interesting room over here. Is this the broadcast camera? So this one is what we call the studio. This is Ooh. for the really high end people building a studio from the bottom up um, and it includes everything like this is the pro video section yeah. and we have the audio section and we have the photo section if somebody wants to build a studio from the ground up they need to sit down with a professional sometimes they would spend days with them and build literally build this everything except for the walls in the studio oh that's up. amazing yeah. can we take a look yeah um, Of course, here we have the high-end gimbals as well. Oh, this is awesome. Hello. Hey, how's it going? This is Daniello. He's Daniello, one of nice our to meet you. I'm Ariel. salespeople here in the studio. I'm showing Ariel around the store and... Uh, to the special room. Yeah, that. this is the special room. So <laughs> can you tell them a little bit of what's happening here? Oh, yeah, I'm curious. Like, uh, what, what are these cameras mostly? Uh, digital cinema. Digital cinema. So we deal with digital cinema. cinema. Uh, uh, post-production, also broadcast. So mm. we're a little bit of a mess just cleaning up some stuff. We also do some events and stuff like that. And now mostly virtual. So we reconfigure the room for different purposes. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Let me take a closer look. You even have Aries as well here. Whoa. Yeah. So these are cinema cameras as well, the Alexa. Yep. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Yeah, through, through the studio art department, we yeah. handle the, uh, the Ari camera line. Uh, we also deal with uh, Varicam, uh, Cinealta from Sony, mm. uh, the Reds. The Reds, oh wow, yeah. wow amazing, wow. Yeah. Quite a huge selection. And you know, of course you have a, a, a studio so you can um, uh, do like practice runs or like show how the cameras work, right? Correct, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Wow. What is the wonderful. most expensive setup that we have here? Oh yeah, I'm curious, yeah. In terms of camera? No, the entire setup. As you can see, this is not just a camera. This is literally everything plugged in. Probably like 15 different items. 
Yeah, I mean, the, the, between the lenses, camera, and all of here, you know, 100,000, 100,000, 200,000, easily, you know, set up for So, ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what they film Hollywood movies with. Uh, literally, films like The Avengers or, or maybe uh, any type of large action movie, they use the Aries. Wow. Wow, thank you so much for taking me into this room. As you can see, this is under a locked door because of all the expensive <laughs> right, equipment. Right, right, right. Um, but whatever, custom, we have customers walking in, but generally yeah. this is a department where people would set up. It's not just coming in, okay, I want to buy this whole setup. Yeah. They would sit down with them and literally build out what's necessary for them. And you see on the ceiling also we have different oh, the lighting, setups. lighting and uh, filters and other stuff. Yeah, this is, this is the type of stuff you cannot buy in uh, another website that's very popular. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Have a good day. And wow. here we have, of course, our gimbal setup. Right. For the video cameras. Which could be very helpful for live streaming. You can use it for uh, moving a camera around a space or an event. And here we have workstations set up with different hardware and software. As you can see, we don't have obviously everything set up, right. but we try to give a few setups for different. Well, you have all live streaming here. Yeah. One you have with uh, the Slink Studio. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's wonderful. Cool. All right, let's continue going through. Okay. And of course, a lot of microphones. So now this is our audio section. We keep yeah. it next to the pro video section because there is a lot of, over, um, I wouldn't say overlap, but if a customer is looking for the pro video equipment, they will most likely also need the audio for it. Obviously, this is not all we're in. We have just regular wireless microphones, regular microphones. We have um, lavaliers. lavaliers. We have some on camera also. We have it here and upstairs. Right, that's so cool. And here we have all the shotgun mics as well. So the beginning of the store dates back to the 1970s. Yes, 1973 the store was found that it was a little uh, mom. It's, we still consider it a mom and pop shop, but it was yeah. a real mom and pop shop back on 17th Street. It was founded in 1973. Also, again, with the concept to give customers, uh, first of all, honesty. We were always upfront with our prices. Yeah. Uh, now it's pretty much standard because everyone has a phone and they can match prices right away. But uh, we were always transparent. We had always our inventory was also our strength. Whatever we got into, we made sure that we have the inventory for it. Yeah. And as I mentioned before, the experience. B&H is all about the experience. It's not just a customer coming in. Back then it was film. Just mm. buying a film and walking out. There was always the salespeople would qualify them, see what they need, see what they want to do, and help them out along the way. Wonderful. I like that. Let's check out this. Uh... Okay. Uh, let's start with a mic room. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, so I heard this room is extremely quiet. Yes. <laughs> You'll see once we get in there. Let's see. Hold on. Where's the switch for it? So, Whoa. wow, this Wait. is actually air sealed. If you want to leave the room, you're going to have to press this button and it do. Are we still in New York City? <laughs> yes, imagine, you know, especially our noisy store with the conveyor belt system coming right. in here is like, you know. You did such a great job in keeping it so quiet. So we have mm -hmm. all different, you know, b different microphones set up uh, and you can test any one of them. They're connected to these controllers and you have the monitors here. Oh, wow. You guys also have like a very impressive amount of employees as well. Yeah. So this is our live sound room. As oh, the nice. other, as the mic room, it's also soundproof. Not oh. as much yeah. as the other one, but uh, we have all you have all different, the different speakers. Different amazing. speakers, different setups. They're all connected to one system where you can, you know, test it. You have a DJ setup, yeah. <laughs> and this is our DJ. This is our what we recently brought into the room is the DJ experience. First oh, of all, with cool. the background here, these are, I believe, six different, uh, six or more 
different LED panels, which we sell as well. Oh, wow. And you can correspond to different, three different uh, setups here. So you guys are even servicing probably high-end clients as well. Like yes. You mentioned uh, broadcast television. Uh, I imagine some uh, top DJs come in here yeah. as well. And then we have just amateurs coming, at, yeah. coming in playing with the equipment, which is also fine. <laughs> right, right. Again. I myself, this is what was one of my favorite sections when I was a young kid coming in here to okay. the DJ section. Yeah. Wow. Cool. All right. We have audio mixers, synthesizer stations. Mm. And how do you guys uh, choose all the gear that you have on display? So we, we have a team of people actually constantly researching the market and all mm -hmm. the new products coming out, surfing the blogs, probably, um, you know, your videos, watching the Stream Geeks events, you know, just to be familiar with what the trend is. And that's how we decide what to put out on display. Yeah, because there's always like certain types of hardware that has way more companies than others. Yeah. Like synthesizers, there's less than, say, headphones. Yeah. yeah. That's one example. Oh, that's good that you guys research behind that. Yeah, we're constantly you. doing research. Also, here you have also, uh, oh, here you have a live stream, I th think a game streaming uh, setup. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so for all the Twitch game streamers, you also have the setup here. So this is our, first of all, this, uh, the mobile creative zone, we call it. Ah, um, nice. Hey. <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> so we had a challenge in the beginning, like a couple yeah. of years ago, people would come in, real professionals started to shoot with mobile phones like you're right. doing right now. And we realized that just putting them in the mobile department mm -hmm. with the uh, cases and just accessories would not do it justice. So we created a separate section in the store for it. And we have the salespeople highly trained on what solutions to have. Obviously gimbals, we have the biggest selection. And then we have lighting and lenses and audio and all different kind of accessories. And so you can stream from your phone. That's wonderful. You even have gimbals I've never even seen before, yeah. which is amazing. And let's take a look at the tripods as well over here. Well, that's great. One in, in one concise section you have that. Yes. Yeah. And um, I've been, uh, I've come to a few of the events here for vloggers, so. Uh, I know that there's a whole lot of vloggers here in New York City as well. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, now we don't have in-person events yeah. Yeah, in the event course. space, but we do have live streamed through Zoom. Oh, nice. Also, we have different speakers, different, you know, m demoing different equipment, different solutions. Mm, wonderful. And here we have all the different uh, monitors. Monitors, well. yeah. From curved monitors, regular monitors, gaming monitors, work <laughs> monitors, everything. We try, obviously we can't put everything on display, but we try to put as many categories as possible. And of course we have our helpful salespeople that if something is not on display, they would always, you know. They can search something up. Yeah. That's, a, that's amazing. So here we set up a little bit of a component section. Oh yeah. You know, for hob hobbyists high -end and high-end gaming, people like to build their own computers. Yeah, uh, I've learned that it's a hobby to build a computer, not even people that don't really need to use a <laughs> custom computer, but they like to build it up, you know, you buy the, right. uh, uh, what's it called, the enclosure and then the different CPUs and different. Yeah, so on. And that's why Intel came in here recently and they started, mm. you know, showing off their different uh, processors that they have. Oh yeah, I noticed that you guys have um, sections by certain companies. You also have Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we tried to do it because a lot of the vendors asked for it because... You have Nikon upstairs, we'll see. Yeah, that. yeah. That we'll get to it. Photo is a whole new level. Okay. But even here, a lot of vendors um, brought to our attention, especially now everything works uh, like Excuse Apple, the, the iPhone, iPad, Mac experience is basically uh, right. seamless 
them from one to another. So that's why we tried, besides doing it in separate areas, we also tried doing it by vendor, different products from the vendor that work one with another. Mm -hmm. And uh, people like it, especially, you know, you have Apple fans. He wants, he wants to see Apple. He's not interested in going <laughs> to computers right. and this and that. He wants to see the Apple. That's why we have our Apple store in here. Which is uh, the, uh, uh, officiated by Apple. Yes, well. yes. Yeah. We generally from, you know, during the week we have somebody from Apple actually stationed here. Oh, cool. Amazing. All right, so now I think we got to go upstairs and see all the amazing yeah. cameras. Yeah, so yeah. this is our headphone. Good. You mentioned earlier what uh, all the different types of headphones. So we have here yeah. probably over a head, uh, hundred different headphones displayed. You even And where have... people can test it. You put it on and you, uh, you can actually hear what it feels like. We constantly calibrate it also to make sure to get the right experience. You even have the super high-end headphones yes. as well. Yes, and we have, uh, you can good. actually test, test it in here. Oh, you can! Oh, <laughs> we have the Isovax, which we also sell. <laughs> oh, amazing! I love that. So this is like a in order to uh, insulate sound. Yes, this yeah. is an isolation booth. Oh, that's amazing! Oh, this is this would be great for like voice acting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? How's it going? I'm all right. Yeah. Do we have? Can we yeah. test a headphone here? Oh yeah, that would be great. Yeah. It's not as isolated as the mic room, but you'll see it's a very big difference, you know, coming from the noisy environment and you just flip this down, you go in and it's like right, quiet. Right, right, exactly. Nine, nine, nine. Cool. So, after the Tribeca store, they end up going uh, further up to what so used to be the, the photo seven, district. So then we went to 17th Street. Right. That's where we went. And, and we that were... used to be known as the photo district. Okay. It was like uh, so many other before I was stores. born. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Oh, amazing! Thank you. I'm gonna try this out. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, let me get the stabilizer. Yes, that'll be great. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. All right. Oh, this is the uh, DJ Three. Go ahead. Oh, I can go yeah, into yeah, it. All right. <laughs> oh man. I literally feel like I'm listening to James Brown right next to me. <laughs> That's so cool. How, how much are these headphones? Those headphones are 1500 1500 yeah, yeah. I literally feel like James Brown's right next to me. That's amazing. Wonderful. Thank you so much. No problem. How, and what mark are these? AKG. That's AKG. AKG. That's the, that's the 812. 812. Yeah. Wow, wonderful headphones. Very comfy and very kind of airy as well. Absolutely. Amazing. I'm going to leave this right here. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. Now let's go Thank upstairs. You. And we got just uh, very briefly all the extensive lighting setups. We have light setups from, as you mentioned before, the tiny little vlogging ones to uh, Hollywood yeah. level ones. Uh, the Ari, the Ari are really uh, are one of the biggest, if not the biggest, right. in the industry. Oh, uh, what's this over here? So this one is our 
tech corner. Basically, um, half of it is not functional now due to COVID, but it's split into two. Uh, the first one is we have a customer has, uh, they're buying a new phone, they want to transfer the content from one phone to the other. Yeah. They don't know how to do that. Not everyone, you know, is, is, uh, is a geek. So they come over here and they do it for them on the spot. They're setting up different programs on computers, you know, just helping customers assemble oh, their purchases. The it's okay. Then, then we yeah. have the other part of it, yeah. which is now virtual, and I'll show you upstairs, Ooh, which is uh, uh, which is really what BNH is all about. It's called the one-on-ones. A customer oh. is buying the camera, yeah. and they're actually sitting down with a salesperson for an hour session going through the features and the settings and you know what they not even a sale this is all post sale they're not trying to sell it's anything amazing. <laughs> you guys are very service. generous with your time uh, listen as i, I mentioned stop this, here for, for a second or uh, finish what you were as saying as i mentioned yeah. we're all about the experience you know obviously we're a retail store but b and h is the experience right. and we want to give the customers that so they feel they're buying stuff and we're not not that we're pushing their equipment onto them they're deciding what they want to buy exactly so one one thing i really enjoy about you guys is that you also have like basically a museum of old cameras so this is our youth yeah. department in general we have right. secondhand stuff returns every item that's getting returned we can't obviously put it into stock so we sell it so after a while we've assembled quite a collection and we also have trading Ooh. customers coming in with their old cameras yeah we're buying it from them and then selling it to use so after a while we've assembled a collection of old cameras and we decided to make the bnh museum you know who <laughs> else and some of them are even for sale right these are not for sale these are not for sale oh interesting so this, this is like literally your own museum oh that's yeah. amazing oh wow you even have cameras from the very uh birth of uh Portable photography, 1920s. Who other than BNH to have this, you know, museum? Right. And what's that one? That big one on the bottom. Uh, let me check with one of our salespeople. Yeah. Hi. What's hey. this? What's this one on the bottom over there? Sports photography. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. No, that's so cool. <laughs> very high tech for that time. Well, you have a focus no matter what. It's just the fact that you need something that huge. Yeah. Yeah, precisely. Thank you so much for, for letting us know. Wow, impressive. So, uh, three stops, three different focal points uh, for each base for a baseball game, the Graflix Big Bertha. At one point we had here, Canon, I forgot the, the range of the lens. At one point, Canon produced just 20 of a very expensive lens. Yeah. And one was purchased by NASA, one was purchased by, I can't remember, a few um, um, very uh, famous companies. We got our hands on three of them and we sold them, we resold them. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, these, these are going for over a hundred thousand, hundred and twenty thousand. Yeah, for for who? But like, uh, uh, like what type so of industry? So the, do you sell the it last. To? Uh, so I don't know what NASA would need it for, but I assume something with <laughs> right. space. You know, I don't. So actual NASA. Actual NASA bought one Kingdom of those oh, lenses. Wow. Um, the last time we sold one was, uh, interestingly, for to I believe it was a collector from somewhere in the Middle East. I can't remember oh. Bahrain or something like that. <laughs> That's funny. And uh, behind you, uh, we have a. Okay, so this is right. welcome to BNH photo. This is what BNH is all about. Oh, so, I see. Um, a long time ago, probably when we moved up to the second floor, which was 1997, I'll give a brief history of BNH later. Great. We decided to set up the photo department like a trade show. You know, you go to a trade show, you have every right. vendor displaying their stuff in their own booth. 
So we took the most popular brands and we set them up. You have Nikon here, you have Panasonic behind you. Great, uh, great company for live streaming cameras as well. We have uh, some of the small ones. We have Olympus has a few models out. Ryko when it comes to 360 yeah. cameras as well. Pentax, these are the, the smaller kiosks, but then we have the Sony kiosk, which has their own. Obviously, you know, Sony is one of the biggest, if not the biggest now in photography, especially when it comes to mirrorless cameras. Right, precisely. And also uh, video, too. Yeah. So video we have now, we don't have the video cameras here. We have the, oh, interesting. the professional video is downstairs. These oh. are all mostly photo or Oh, you also have the DSLR cameras that yes, are, are, are used for video. Yeah. Yeah. And there There's you have Canon. Canon. And every vendor built out their display based on their theme. Sony oh, decided to go with this square silver white It looks tone. like their PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's their theme. That's also the concept. We want to bring the customer the experience, not just of B&H, but also of the company. Yeah. So that's why when we went to Canon, we asked them to come up with the design, the concept. Obviously, we had our requirements, because after all, it is not a trade show. And we want to show, we want to be able to demo mm. to, uh, uh, to every customer, you know, all the cameras, which is uh, why we also have lenses on, the, on display, mm. so we can show every camera with different lenses. Um, but uh, basically, it's being designed by the company. So when a customer comes in, they can feel the Canon brand. Right, right, exactly. And then uh, the people you have in the middle are experts of, experts uh, of on, that company. Yeah. Yeah. So here you have all the array of lenses. So just in case if you're live streaming in the middle of the wilderness and need to get a mountain lion, here you have your telephone lens. <laughs> wow. So the concept also, this is very much set up not to close a sale in here. The right. salespeople in here don't actually have the capability to close the sale. They don't have the programs and everything because as much as we would like to promote Canon, we would like to give the customers the full experience. So a customer would come in, would go from kiosk to kiosk, and then they would go to the counter and they would make their decision on what they would like to buy. And obviously with all the accessories, right? Here we only have cameras and lenses, and behind mm -hmm. the counter, you know, you get set up with a memory card, with the cases, and with everything. Oh, that's so, amazing. So you look at the cameras first, and then you have the counters for purchases. For purchases. Right. Oh, down there. And, you know, we, we have the same salespeople rotating between the counter and the kiosk, so they all have the same knowledge. Okay. Um, Let's take a closer look at the, the counter. counter over there. Yeah, it's a different counter. You truly have everything. So if, if you're coming here bare bones, no setup at all, you can get the entire setup, uh, including bag, memory card, and everything. Yeah, so this is where the customers would spend most of their time. Yeah. And as you can see, everything wow. here is loose behind the counter, so they can, you know, try it on Good different morning. solutions. Good morning. How's it going? Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. You have it pretty much divided by brand also. You know, you have people coming Sigma. in. They want to get the Sigma lens. You have the Tokina lenses. You have... Mm. You guys have filters. very awesome and friendly employees. <laughs> yes. Oh, here you have a setup. Mm -hmm. All right, so for our final 10 minutes, let's uh, check out the drones and okay. then the, uh, the PTZ cameras. Perfect. Um, I just want one quick thing to show you. Oh, of course. This is... Yeah. This is actually where I mentioned before that the customers could do one-on-one. -on -one. Unfortunately, with COVID now, we don't allow in-person appointments. Yeah. So it's all being done virtually. You see the setup here? Oh, wow. The <laughs> salespeople, they have video cameras set up and webcams. They would bring the camera and actually show the customer, you do this, you do that, and the customer would see it live on their computer or phone. Oh, that's, a, that's amazing. Oh, wow. All free of charge. Very, very uh, good way of uh, adapting to the new times. 
of course, here we have the conveyor belts right underneath. That's an amazing okay. new service. That's how, how we've stayed in business for the last 40, uh, 47 <laughs> years now. Uh, it's always adapting to the need of the customers. You know, the need 30 years ago was different than the need is now. And right now, the need is to do it virtual with much, as many challenges as there are to do it virtual. We, you know, we, we spent all the money on equipment and, you know, mm -hmm. getting designated salespeople just for that. And, you know, customers appreciate it. And the amazing thing is that you can come into the store, experience everything firsthand, and then yeah. you can do online shopping. Yes. Uh, with your online store. Yeah. So this is our live streaming section. Um, oh, interesting. So at first, we only had these video cameras set up for live streaming. But recently, now with COVID, you have so many houses of worship or different congregations or right. just businesses. They want to do PTZ streaming. You know, they want to do virtual services. So that's why we set up all different oh. cameras around. Where is it? They look Where's a little bit like surveillance right cameras. Right there, yeah, but yeah. This one. Spot. Let me zoom in. And on you this have one. another one here. I think oh, this would nice. be easier to see. Which ones are PTZ? These are all PTZ. Oh, these are PTZ. They could be controlled. So PTZ stands for there. Pan, Tilt, and Zoom. And PTZ Optics, who are part of Stream Geeks, are making wonderful cameras for live streaming, along with whatever cameras you have on the ground as well, yes. over here. So these are the control stations. We set up different mm. setups for different needs, you know? So we have, first of all, the entry, the cheaper ones and the easier to navigate. These are for not for professionals necessarily. As I mentioned, you have the houses of worship. They're not looking to get the most expensive system. They just want to be able to stream. So we try to give different solutions for everyone, different cameras, different controllers. So here you have the uh, ATEM Mini Pro, which is also very popular with uh, game streamers and people streaming at home. Oh, wow. And of course, uh, anyone can come here and have a yes. whole demonstration. Yes, try to show it to them. Oh, this oh is, wow. See, this so is that camera over there. You see? That's amazing. All right, let me zoom in. So that camera's moving, and here's the view. And we recently also put out the background because customers were asking that they want to see if they want to take. Can I give it a Sure. So this is the joystick, and yes. oh, that's amazing. You make it very easy for people to try it out. I mean, if you want to get a real experience, usually you would require a salesperson if you don't know right. you know, the stuff. But this is just the basic uh, maneuvering it. Well, it's cool. I like this store as well because you can explore on your own and they'll let, let you be and then yes. you can uh, ask uh, any of the sales rep as well. Yeah. And here you have another camera on display. Oh, beautiful. Can you, uh, hey. can you try to move this camera? Wow, amazing. Can you give a brief description of what kind of setups we have here? You know, I see we have different models, but are they geared for different clientele, different uh, types of customers? The systems here basically have multiple okay. cameras that are pan tilt cameras. Yeah. They're coming in from different areas of the, of the floor, coming into these two units. One is for the video signal, the second is for control. Oh, wonderful. so this is a mixer. It's a mix between the different cameras, and this is for control. Mm. So I can zoom in, zoom out, and scan around the different areas. So these are set up different ways of the mixer. So who would to buy this five thousand, uh, four and a half thousand dollar mixer versus that eight hundred, uh, uh, five hundred ninety-five dollar one? Depends on the person's budget, what you're looking for. Right. This is uh, you need four inputs, or you need eight or or more. Okay. So it depends on the person's application. 
and there's different levels. What type of clients have you have you had come here for uh, live streaming? Corporate, house of worship, uh, oh, venues wonderful. that are doing what is it, concerts or whatnot. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. So if you're looking for a unit that uh, will give you the versatility of switching between uh, different cameras and specific cameras that, let's say, you want to you want to control the camera. I want to zoom in. Mm -hmm. You need like a pan tilt zoom, a PTZ camera that you can zoom in and out. Uh, and they come different flavors: 10x, 12x, 20x, 30x zoom. Where you can mag, you know, you can magnify that person come in 30 times. It's, so if I want to against that wall, which is at the far end, I can get very close to that person. The, cam the little A10 minis over there, that's a, if you want to stream with multiple cameras. And it's uh, very, very easy to use as well. And do you have any PTZ optics cameras here? We have PTZ optics on display. Which one is uh, the one on display? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know we have one on the other side of the column. Oh, I would love to see the one in the back. Yeah. Oh, this is you also an ex a PTZ optics experience. Okay. Oh, up. there we go. Yeah. There it is. Okay, perfect. Same idea where you can. So PTZ optics right over here. And yeah. this is their, what camera is this one? What's the name? The 12X. 12X. Oh. This is coming in. Again, it's all this is coming into controller. You're looking here. Yeah. You have the proprietary controller right, as well. Right, exactly. You see, there's going to be uh, a nine, uh, a, a, two, uh, a two, three, two uh, visitor cable. Yeah. Or it can be uh, MDI. And then you have the other two uh, here as well. These are, yeah, well. these are just uh, for example, this type of camera. Wonderful. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Appreciate it. And let's briefly okay. mention the Last this, but not the least, drone. the drone section. <laughs> this is actually a new uh, cage from DJI where we're yeah. going to be flying, actually flying drones in here. Uh, oh, so wow. people don't get hurt. We had to put it in the cage. <laughs> we course. have a beautiful DJI setup here, uh, as I mentioned earlier, with all of their equipment that they have. I mean, they have the Osmo packet, and then you have that action camera. Uh, you have the mobile gimbals, you have the more professional gimbals, and you have, all the and you have obviously all the drones and <laughs> robots. And they're getting very tiny now. Also, yeah. you can use for live streaming. So, uh, pro tip for any live streamers out there doing like a live stream wedding, for example. Uh, and here you have also the. So here we made it, we Empire. set up the drone section basically based on your level, I would say. Yeah. You have novice, you have the really the entry level drones. And then you have a little bit more advanced. We have some underwater drones as well. Wow. If you have any divers. Those exist already, wow. Yeah. Well, oh, that's amazing. A few of them. And, and then, of then course. these are obviously uh, the most advanced one. You have the Matrice and you have the, I forgot the other name, the Inspire. Yeah, right. And then I actually had this one. This is a beast. It is a beast, yeah. yeah. Hollywood shoots use that as yeah. well. Wow. So. So amazing to see it up close in person. And of course, people can fly it right yes. over here. We have, <laughs> obviously, we don't allow customers to do it because, right. you know, they could just crash it. <laughs> so we have our salespeople, when a customer wants a demonstration of a specific drone, then we would fly it in here. Oh, that's wonderful. So uh, where can people find more information about BNH? bhphotovideo.com or bandh.com, b-a-n-d-h.com. We have an explorer section also where it's not just products. They give, um, it's a blog, so, uh, right. sort of. Uh, I, mean, I don't and want to compete with you, but we have a blog of all the different, it's not so much based on products, it's based on concepts. Yeah. Like, as you said, we have a very, uh, a couple of write-ups on live, on PTZ and live streaming on you know, uh, what to do and how to do it. Not necessarily what kind of equipment to buy, just what, how to set it up and how to operate it. That's amazing. And where's the store located? What do you mean? Well, where, where, where can people find the, the store? What's on, the nearest subway on, station? No, this. No, I mean here, like uh, the store here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So people know the address. So <laughs> we, are at, we are at 429th <laughs> Avenue between 34th and 33rd Street. 
We're a block away from Penn Station, and yeah. if anyone remembers what Medicine Square Garden is, I mean, there are no games <laughs> going on right now. It's but hard to miss for, because yeah. the BNH is almost the entire and next block. Next to Hudson like, Yards, next to Hudson Yards, which right. is was at least I hope it's coming back, but it was the hot new area of uh, New York City. Right. So Simon, thank you so much for taking us through here. It was a wonderful tour. Uh, thank you for Stream Geeks for covering this tour and uh, getting us inside here as well. And everyone, hope you have a great time live streaming, keeping awesome, and always keep on exploring. Have thank a great you. day, guys. My pleasure.